Hi, I'm Josh Goldman, Senior Editor for CNET Reviews, and this is a look at the Sony CyberShot DSC TX9. The TX9 is Sony's top-of-the-line ultra-compact camera, which is simply overflowing with features. The basic specs include a 25mm equivalent wide-angle lens with a 4x zoom, a 12-megapixel Exmor R backside illuminated CMOS image sensor, 3.5-inch high-resolution touchscreen on back, uh, 1080i HD movie capture in AVC HD format with a stereo mic up front, and several new shooting modes including a couple 3D options. One of the 3D shooting modes allows you to create panoramas for viewing on 3D enabled HDTVs when connected by HDMI, while another takes a series of shots at different angles and then using the camera's built-in gyro sensor gives you a 3D-like view by tilting the camera back and forth. They're interesting to play with, but the panoramas are only good if you have a 3D TV and the multi-angle shots are only viewable on the camera. Along with the 3D, uh, Sony's taken its multi-shot photo modes, handheld twilight, anti-motion blur, and backlight correction HDR, and put them under a superior auto mode that'll pick the appropriate mode for the subject you're shooting. Lastly, there's a new background defocus mode that takes two shots and then combines them into one, isolating the subject and blurring the background to give an appearance of a shallow depth of field. All this stuff works, but they're not quite without their quirks. Uh, from a performance standpoint though, the TX9 is quick with low shutter lag and shot to shot times, and there's a high speed burst mode capable of shooting up to 10 frames per second though you will be waiting a bit once you're done shooting. Photo quality is very good to excellent for its size and class. The multi-shot modes do improve your chances of getting a clean shot, especially in low light conditions. I'm Josh Goldman, and that's a look at the Sony CyberShot TX9. Hi, I'm Molly Wood, host of The Buzz Report, the show about the tech news that everybody's talking about. See it every Friday in high def at cnet.com slash buzzreport.